Okay, I want to show how I can take the same rig but create something that has different behaviour and has a hole cut through the centre of the rig. First thing I want to point out is the uh, this is set up that these adaptive points would be placed on the face of the 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 form, the face of the su the surface itself. And so this panel is coming out the way from the building. I did that on purpose so you could see that they weren't connecting. But in, I might want to make it that they go uh, to the inside. So if I change this value to say minus one foot, what I'm saying is that the adaptive points are placed on the surface and then the actual thickness of the panel goes in the way rather than, than out the way. When I look at this panel, or the, the rig that I've got, I want to locate a hole that would be centered on the face. So what I can do is I can put points and you see I've got a, a, a snap that I can snap to the midpoint. But just to show you how this is working is even if I put it anywhere on the, the reference line at the top here, that point has a property for the hosted parameter. The point 0.5 means that it's 50% or halfway along the, the line from the beginning. Um, so that if I were actually to pick on this one, it doesn't matter where I placed it, but I can tell it that that's the relationship that I want halfway along from the beginning of the, the reference line that it was placed on. Next thing I want to do is I want to just connect these, and I'm, I've got my 3D snaps on, so I'm just drawing a line between that, these two locations. And I might, you know, grab it and flex it just to make sure that it is doing what I anticipated it doing. I'm going to do one more thing, which is place a point. I'm going to place it 50% or in the middle, just confirming that it's halfway along here. Now this point that I picked um, is only showing one plane. Usually this point is used in operations like creating sweeps. Like maybe I want to draw a cylindrical sweep around the top of this, something like that. But um, some, it, it might be convenient to make some changes to the way that it looks. So if I pick the point, if I look down here where it says show normal reference plane, that's what's showing at the moment. If I check that off, that's me actually saying show all of the three planes that are part of the point. You won't though see them all the time until you go up here and say show reference planes and I change that to always from when selected to always. So that, that way, when I look at it in my model, I can now see the reference plane. And what I want to do is I want to draw a profile or a, uh, on the plane that is on that point. So if I, I tab until I find the plane that's on the top and then select, and then I draw the circle and I'm placing that circle I'm hoping it's on the point. You know what? This is a good case for selecting the line and hiding it temporarily so that I'm only seeing the point. Then I'm going to tab through to select the surface take my circle and that way I know that I'm actually putting it on the point of the, the object. With the, with the circle selected, I can turn this into the radius into a parameter, uh, into a dimension. And with it as a dimension, I've already got this in my model, but in my, I can, I can apply a parameter called whole radius two feet or whatever I want to apply to my model. So I'm almost there. This is, if you like, this is the rig that's been created and the geometry. I've started to create the geometry that I'm going to create the, the objects from. I just want to flex this here just so I can see that that actually behaves the way that I think it does. Control Z to put it back. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take that uh, that circle that I had drawn and said and say create a form. And I'm just going to do it as a solid form initially so I can create the form and I'm going to pull the top of this well up above the panel and then I'm going to tab until I find the bottom plane click and tug this down so it's below the bottom of the panel and the reason I'm doing that is I want to make sure that 
even if the panel warps, that the this continues to go all the way through. And I have one last thing that I want to do is on the on that particular form. I want to go to the option under Form Elements that says Lock the Profiles because I don't want the user to change the whole radius and find that it changes at one side of the extruded cylinder but not at the other side. So that now should be me in good in good shape. Let me just drag this down a bit to where I'm ready to create the rest of the solid geometry. So now if I Hit, hold the control key and pick the top line of reference lines and the bottom line of reference lines and then say create form. I can create my panel geometry and now what I'm going to do is pick the I'm tabbing to pick the form of this and change that to say that it's actually a void. Apply. And I'm ready to save it. Oh, let me let me uh, turn on the temp reset the temporary graphics. That was my line, and um, yeah, and then I'm ready to load that into my model. So if I load this into the project and overwrite uh, anything that was in there, at the moment what I've got is the 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 pattern that was defined as the sample rig form. What I'm doing is selecting it, go down and now under rectangle I've got the sample rig form with hole. Select on that and I should see the change in my model. Um, ooh, interesting. Okay, so there's two two instances where it cannot create the form. So I'm going to tell it to delete those two instances. Um, I'm, not, I'm not quite understanding why it would be these. These it looks like it's these two that it's not creating. But it but it does bring up a good point is that on the the end of my models, uh, or the edges I should say, you actually usually have a different panel. I wasn't expecting to see these, but, but certainly up here and maybe around the top I need, I need an adaptive uh, component rather than the, the, the panel that I just created. So let me, let me have a look at this and see if I can figure out, there's a couple of things I might just check out. Under the, in selecting the pattern, if I say um, um, overhanging, what that's going to do is make sure I've got five foot. I'm still having a problem with that, those there, that, but that's interesting. So you now see I've got, I've got five foot panels all the way around my, my model. And uh, Actually, the size of the hole looks rather large, doesn't it? So let me let me tab until I find the panel, and then go edit family. Two foot and five foot. I'm just wondering if um, if this is actually created correctly or not. Let me see if I can tab through to find the the void that I had there. And just let me confirm that the uh, the profiles are locked. That's correct. Let me check it by changing this to say whole radius of one foot. Ah, you see, it didn't it, it? It moved off, and that's the that's the problem that I had uh, seen before. So <clears throat> I don't want that to move away from the point. So let me think, how did I fix this before? I did, um, let, let's just delete it. And let's hide this. And let's turn this off. So I'm seeing the point. And that point is 50% along. Okay, I need to make sure that when I 
grab one here and I place this and I, and I make it a parameter or radius of foot. But this is working correctly and I can check it by I'm picking the point works okay picking the geometry creating the form and I'm going to make sure that comes down a good distance and this goes up a good distance and that these are these are well and truly locked profiles okay then I'll create my solid let's switch this back on I'll just check the behavior on this so if I said point 0.1 I'm expecting, yep, that's correct. I'm, I'm looking for the connections to be maintained as, as changes take place in the model. So if I do that, okay, and that's correct. And now what I'm going to do is say, um, take that form and make it a void. load it into my project and overwrite the old one let's see if I get any error messages this time or warnings I'm still having the issue with the uh, these bottom panels Good. I think the panel itself is good. I think there's something maybe in the geometry of the building that I need to look at. Let me, uh, let me leave it at that. Uh, let, me, let me switch this back to the other options that I'd shown. As that was overhanging, shows me only complete panels. Then partial will just create partial panels where it needs to fill in the ends here not really what I want and then the other option is leave, to leave them empty let me see if I get any difference when I say empty I'm going to see these empty uh, look what happened there that was interesting empty, but they moved up I'm going to continue with this and uh, I'll troubleshoot this and come back to it